Thank you so much for joining us here at noon. We are getting a live look at Fairfield, Stockton, King Vale, and Lake Tahoe. You kind of make those screens out there on your right. It's another day filled with some very wet weather for us. And we've got team coverage for you. Michelle Bandur is up in Applegate with the latest conditions on I-80. We'll be checking in with her later on this hour. But first, we want to bring in meteorologist Eileen Javora for a look at the conditions that we are seeing right now. Yeah, we're continuing to see rain passing through the valley, although it's letting up here in Sacramento a bit. But that snow has been consistent and heavy throughout the morning time, falling at a rate of about an eight, two to even three inches an hour up towards the highest elevation. So you can see the flags in the outfield of Sutter Health Park blowing in that south breeze. The lens is wet, but again, here in downtown getting maybe a little bit of a break right now. You can see the rain is much more broken up over Sacramento, but still hanging on to Stockton with a steadier rain. That's now pushing right out of downtown right now and heading off towards the east. And once you get up at around 2000 feet, some spots even below that we're mixing in the snow. But look at this snow, this solid snow going over Interstate 80. It has looked like this all morning long on Doppler. So we're just adding to the totals up here. This is what it looks like at Castle Peak approaching Donner Summit. We can barely make out what might be a lane here that's trying to keep clear by Caltrans and some of the emergency vehicles because again, 80 is closed right now because of the visibility issues, because of the high winds that are blowing all that snow around and we have snow again at fairly low elevations. Georgetown just outside of Auburn getting the snow. Colfax, we've had a heavy snow over the past couple of hours, even around Kelsey Garden Valley and now down into Placerville downtown. Look at that snow coming down here. This is just below 2000 feet at around 1800 feet at this camera here in downtown Placerville. So moving our way south and moving our way up towards Highway 50. You can even see at 3000 feet heading from Camino to Pollock Pines just how heavy the snow is. Notice the weight of the snow here on the trees. This could be an issue for some folks at that 2500 to 3000 foot mark. We had snow yesterday, heavy snow this afternoon just piling on to that. So some branches certainly snapping under the weight of that snow and again Highway 4 and down towards the mother load getting the snow at around 2000 feet. So still that wind up at 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts consistently here in the valley throughout the morning time. That'll stay up as well in the mountains where the blinding conditions and whiteout conditions expected through the afternoon. It won't let up until tonight. So still through today, an additional two to three feet of snow falling. We'll give you an update on how much snow we expect at those lower elevations and look ahead to how cold it's going to be tonight in the valley once we clear out, Mike. All right, thank you so much, Eileen. And let's take a look right now at what viewers have been sending in all morning long. We got some video, we got some pictures. You got Bear River Pines in Grass Valley, Twain Hart in Tuolumne County, you have Arnold in Calaveras County, Meadow Vista in Placer County, Greenville and Portola in Plumas County. You just see lots of fresh powder, and a lot of folks are going to have uh, some very full backyard. So thank you for sending all of those videos and pictures in. Now let's give you a live look at what things are looking like along I-80 as we speak. We're going to bring in KCR 3's Michelle Bandur, who's live from Applegate with the very latest. Michelle, uh, I got to imagine, how was the ride up? Was it treacherous at all? <laughs> Oh, good afternoon, Mike. You know, actually, the drive up wasn't horrible. We had a lot of that heavy rain as we were leaving Sacramento. And then when we got to Meta Vista, it was about 1700 elevation. We started getting those slushy kind of snowflakes. And then honestly, as soon as we got to Applegate, this is the type of snow that you're seeing. It's kind of hitting our face, little pellets, hurts a little bit, but definitely coming down, definitely sticking here. It wasn't really sticking in Meadow Vista, but this is the scene here. We are right where Caltrans has shut down Interstate 80 and where we have a lot of folks waiting. Now there are, a, there still actually is a lot of traffic. As you can see, people still coming up this way, not sure if they have business to do in Applegate, um, but people are still coming here and they have to take the exit here because they cannot go any further on Interstate 80. We have uh, on the way up, as you mentioned, um, a couple exits before here at Applegate. We had a lot of semis, a lot of semis just parked off the side of the interstate, just waiting. We also are seeing a lot of snow plows from Caltrans. They've been up and down here quite a few times since we've been out here uh, plowing. I did did check in with Caltrans and a spokesman says it's likely going to be shut down until tomorrow. They are just trying to keep up with the snow that keeps falling, trying to keep plowing it. But as of now, 
we're still shut down. So really, I, if you don't have any business to do up here till Applegate, I, there's no reason for you to get on Interstate 80. We we're talking about folks waiting. We've got a bunch of semis on the other side. Although they're facing the other direction, they are wanting to head that way, but they just need a place to stay while they're waiting for the interstate to open. And as uh, my photojournalist Drew pointed out, there's a gas station there, got some snacks, got a bathroom there. So probably a good place for them just to kind of camp out and park as we're waiting for Interstate 80 to open. And I also have to mention, though, some of the traffic that keeps coming through here, they're going pretty fast. This guy's going a lot slower. And we've seen some of the traffic that's been plowing through here. But yeah, they're still coming down here on Interstate 80 and getting off at Applegate. Uh, Mike, we also, I checked in with Placer County and I talked to the roads division director and he tells me it is all hands on deck on those county roads. He told me he's not really seeing a lot of extra traffic on the county roads since the interstate has closed down, but he said it's been difficult to keep up with the snowfall, but they are 24 seven plowing those county roads. So at least the local folks in Placer can get around within the county since Interstate 80 is closed. But as you can see, this is the conditions going on here now. We're gonna stay out here all day. We'll see uh, if it's gonna get any better, but we'll stay here for you. Reporting live in Applegate, Michelle Bay KCRA 3 News. All right, Michelle, I'm very happy that you're able to find a spot that has some hot coffee and some snacks for your benefit at, at least. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much for the live report. And a bathroom. That's key. Very key. <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much. All right, those road closures, just one of the reasons several Sierra ski resorts are closed today. Let's give you a live look right now at Heavenly Ski Resort. Yeah, you actually see some folks out there. They opened just about an hour ago at 11 this morning. Boy, it's windy out there as well. Most ski resorts are closed, including Sierra at Tahoe Palisades. You got Bear Valley and Dodge Ridge. Now, there are a lot of resorts reporting some heavy snow. And as we just mentioned, gusty winds, dangerous conditions for uh, guests, all because of the storms. And that's why keeping crews off the mountain for the day is a pretty good idea. Well, sometimes you get too much of a good thing and um, we love snow. We'll take it any time we can get. But when it's back to back to back and no breaks, like it does impact operation, especially when you get high winds. Winds across that high Sierra peaks could be in the 60 to 80 mile per hour range today. Some of the highest peaks could even see two to four feet of new snow. Resorts are advising waiting out the storm as conditions wind down on Wednesday. There will be plenty of bluebird days ahead. That's what they say. And KCR3's morning show spoke with the mayor of South Lake Tahoe, Christy Cregan, about the conditions in this year. And she mentioned that it is unlike anything that she's since seen since she's lived in that area. I've lived here for 26 years and we've had lots of storms, um, but this is the longest sustained whiteout period that I remember. And I spoke to a lot of other people who said the same thing. Um, so. While the National Weather Service said that we should expect substantial disruptions to daily life, that's very much what we're experiencing, as you've been describing. All right, from the snow to the rain, check out this video right here from the Arden Arcade area. Earlier this morning, you can see, yeah, it was coming down pretty good. Not too hard, but still some pretty decent showers to start our day. Let's bring in meteorologist Eileen Javora for another look at some of the wet weather that we are seeing across parts of our area. We are continuing to see that rain come down in some spots like in Stockton right now. We're continuing to see some raindrops here, but uh, that's going to be tapering off before too long. So that's a live view in Stockton right now. And yeah, those uh, rain showers kind of pushing out, but still there's going to be a chance of some rain showers uh, the rest of today. So looking at the Doppler radar in the valley again, there's notice there's some dry pockets here. And that's going to be the case, I think, over the next several hours that we're going to continue to see some on and off again showers. We've picked up about a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch in some locations. So it looks like we're kind of coming into what we had around yesterday. So about a half inch amount or so in the valley. So I think today again, the big story is just going to be where that rain snow transition line is. And again, that's holding at about 2000 feet. And again, there's that look at Castle Peak right now. Uh, we are continuing to see those whiteout conditions. But yeah, the rain pushing into Auburn. But as uh, Michelle Bandora has been reporting from Applegate, it switches to snow at around 17 1800 feet or so. And again, there's that rain in parts of El Dorado County pushing up into the foothills and then turning to snow. So here's your hour by hour forecast for the valley and specifically Sacramento.
Sacramento again. I think the rain is going to pick up a little bit more around 3, 4 to 5 o'clock this afternoon, and then we start to dry out. So we probably have another round or so of showers to move through this afternoon, maybe a rumble of thunder and then it dries out and then it really turns cold. We're talking temperatures near or below freezing in many spots tonight and already there is a freeze warning in effect and we're going to take a look at those specific temperatures for tomorrow morning coming up. All right, Eileen, thank you so much and be sure to share your weather photos and video with us as long as you can take them safely. Cannot stress that enough enough. You can download the KCR 3 app. Click the upload tab to send us those photos. Also in the app, you can turn on alerts to get severe weather information for your area.